Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS, lesson 8, agriculture part 1. Now, I hope you all have your textbooks with you by now. And uh, I will be reading from page number 94. Have your textbooks with your in your hand so that it will be easier for you to do the exercises if there are any exercises in the textbook. Okay. So here in the page number 94, the lesson agriculture, here they have given a small poem. Okay. Small poem written by Rashtra Kavi Kuempu. Negila hididu holavanu hodu. Harutta uh, Uluva Yogiya Nodali. This poem is a very famous poem written about. Can you guess who it is? The picture itself says that the whole poem is all about the farmer. Okay, farmers are the backbones of our country, or if you take any country, they are the backbone of our country right not only our country any country they are the backbones because they are the producers of the food okay we are completely dependent on farmers for food they if they produce the food only we will uh, the food will be available in the market for us to buy it and to eat it right now in your textbook they have told, read the famous poem written by Rashtra Kavi Kuempu. In this poem, words like Uluva Yogi, Annava Dudivada Taige and uh, have been used. Can you guess who is, who he is? Write your answer in the box given below. In the page number 94, the answer you have to write is Farmer. Okay, F-A-R-M-E-R, -E Farmer. Agriculture is the main occupation of farmers. Farmers grow crops, right? Now, the poem is composed on farmers who provide food for us. Agriculture is the main occupations of farmers. So, farmers are also called agriculturists. What are they called? Agriculturists. Agriculturists engage themselves in agriculture and related activities to lead their lives. Okay, now uh, uh, here in page number 96, there is one huge list of different districts in Karnataka and what are the important crops that grow in Karnataka. Okay, uh, I will read out some for you and uh, you can read the remaining for yourself. Be there, uh, the important crops are red grams, wheat, jowar, sugar, kalburgi, Red grams, wheat, jowar, pearl millets, Bengal gram, cotton, Vijayapura, red gram, wheat, jowar, pearl millets, Bengal gram, sugarcane, grapes. Like this, uh, each different each uh, different districts have different kinds of crops. Now here, uh, it, uh, the number 24. Mysuru. It, they grow paddy, ragi, bengal gram, tobacco, sugarcane, groundnut. 25. Mandya. Paddy, ragi, sugarcane, horse grams. Then Ramnagara. These are all closer to Bangalore. That is why I am reading out for you. Okay. Ramnagara, ragi, mulberry, horse gram, cow beans, mango. Then be uh, Bengaluru rural, ragi, cow beans, coconut, grapes. Bengaluru urban, ragi, horse gram. Then last, Kolara, ragi, horse gram, mulberry. Mulberry is usually for feeding the silkworms. Okay. Then Chamarajanagara, ragi, jowar, mulberry, cow beans, sugarcane. Now these, why there are different kinds of uh, crops that are grown in different uh, districts. Now, all the districts don't have same kind of, um, they don't have same kind of soil. So, these plants, they depend upon the kind of soil that is present in that land. Now, if you take some um, places like Udupi, okay, there, uh, there it is filled with the soil is, the soil content is more because it's closer to the sea. So, there it grow, they grow paddy, coconut, 
areca, wheat, pepper, cashew nut. So it uh, the quality of the soil decides what kind of crops can be grown in those places. Okay, you cannot grow all the crops in crops in all all the kind of different uh, soil. Particulars like cotton. Cotton needs different kinds of soil, and growing groundnuts need different kinds of soil. It cannot be grown in the same. Now here there is a small exercise given in page number ninety eight. Uh, look at the picture given below. Read the statements given in front of the picture. The pictures and the statements do not match with each other. Match the pictures with correct statement by drawing a line. Okay, uh, you you can draw the line and you can tell me properly. I'll give you the answers in the video itself. Now here in the picture that you can see in the video, we'll give you a little um, help about deciding what is the proper method of doing agriculture agriculture practice of crop production so first option is protecting the crops from animals birds insects and diseases this is then when uh, which option will come the second box okay you have to match this with the second box where the farmer is flying away the birds and he is spraying the fertilizers and the um, the fert he is spraying the he is uh, you mean the sec i mean the spe second box student okay the plowing the land to grow crops plowing grand means the last second one last second one is the right answer sowing the seeds to grow crops the last option there the farmer is sowing the seeds to grow crops using chemicals or organic fertilizers for proper growth of crops here the third picture match it with the third picture harvesting the crops either manually or with the help of machines the first picture okay irrigation for the proper growth of the crops fifth one okay fifth one is the answer now you have matched the pictures with the correct statements now these are the stages of growing crops you have matched the pictures with the correct statement but they are not in the proper order write them in the correct order in the space given below so here you can write the picture using the picture which is given on your screen you can write it first is the preparation of soil how is the preparation of the soil done plowing the land to grow crops second one is sowing sowing the seeds to grow crops adding manure and fertilizers in your book it is using chemicals or organic fertilizers for proper growth of crops then irrigation the last option irrigation for the proper growth of crops then protecting from weeds okay uh, protecting the crop from animals birds insects and diseases that is option in your textbook harvesting harvesting the crop either manually or with the help of machines last is the storage you don't have to worry about storage these six options if you write that will be enough till harvesting okay then there are different kinds of farmers now the farmers are the as i told you farmers are the people who grow crops for us isn't it so that there are different types of farmers farm laborers small scale farmers and large scale farmers in your page number 100 there is a small green color box which i will be reading out now then we will differentiate what uh, who are who is a farm laborer then who is a small scale farmer and who is a large scale farmer read the information given below try to understand the three categories of farmers you can take the help of your teachers or elders i will be helping you out with your video itself okay it is a village all the people of the village are living with love faith and peaceful coexistence this is very very important for all of us not only in villages even in cities we should live in peaceful coexistence coexistence means helping each other now rangamma belongs to a small village she doesn't have agricultural land of her own it is her responsibility to manage her family so she does weeding planting 
and separating cotton from the plants in others farms okay this is rangamma's work she helps the other farmers in their field for different kinds of farming different kinds of agricultural active activities next is next is julakamma of the same village is a close friend of rangamma julakamma is a farmer she is also a farmer okay she owns a piece of land she runs her family by selling crops grown on her farm both these women like manjamma very much who is manjamma she is our third character Manjama is a successful lady agriculturist. She owns about 10 to 15 acres of land in the village. Many women in the village like Rangamma work in her agriculture land. Rangamma was our first character, isn't it? Yes. Manjama not only grows crops but also she rears fowls and cattle. She purchases modern agricultural equipments for cultivation purposes she also earns money through apiculture apiculture means rearing honey bees then sericulture silk worm breeding so people of the village call her large scale farmer she always encourages and gives suggestions to the villagers to practice agricultures like her now according to the information that has given to you who is the um who is the small farmer farm laborer small scale farmer large scale farmer here small box has been given to you right rangamma rangamma uh, uh, what kind of farmer is she she is a farm laborer okay in front of farm laborer you can write one julakamma julakamma is a small scale farmer and manjamma is a large scale farmer as i explained to you farm laborers they do not have their own agriculture land they work in some other person's field to earn their living they work in the other people's land for they help them in the different agricultural activities to produce proper food and those people those large scale agriculturists they pay these farm laborers okay now the farm laborers in uh, i'm reading from your textbook page number 101 farm laborers have problems of their own here are some statements put tick mark to the statement that related and cross mark to that are not related to the problem of the farm laborers farm laborers do not get work throughout the year possible right put a tick they get very less wage yes they get very less age, uh, wage farm laborers are very rich no they are not very rich if they were rich they would have taken the land and uh, done the agriculture on their own isn't it yes that uh, many rules have been implemented to solve the problems of the farm laborers like it is mandatory to give minimum wage to the laborers okay in olden days and all no children there were um, lifetime they used to write their own son as the uh, farm laborers okay the whole life of that child used to be spent in that um, land owners place itself okay he used to live there he has to do all the work in that house help that uh, help that agriculture this was the old style today uh, all those things do not work they are not allowed also according to the law then the next one is small scale farmers as i told you small scale farmers own a piece of land of their own not many acres like the halar scale uh, farmers they have 10 to 15 acres 20 acres of land but these uh, small scale they have one or two acres of land where they grow crops and they sell those crops earn the money and they uh, lead their life now there are some problems faced by small scale farmers that is the shortage of money to cultivate the land as the land holding is little their earning is not self sufficient to lead the family now the problem with the farmers is they 
throughout the year they earn only once okay the money they get is only once when they harvest and when they sell the harvest only they get money that money they have to keep for the next year's agriculture do activities they have to keep for their own expenditures that is why it becomes very difficult for the farmers many times they do not get water from the land because of poor irrigation facilities now when i tell you about how the water has been supplied to these agricultural lands i will explain you more about irrigation they lack proper guidance to grow crops that suit soil fertility of their land or the season in today's world we have scientists who study the land and they tell you what kind of crops you can grow there but then that also will cost the farmers okay and uh, the some farmers are not interested to go and ask or they don't know they don't have the information about going and asking that becomes a problem to the farmers next is the large scale farmers usually large scale farmers own the more agricultural land like i told you 10 to 15 acres of land in addition to family members many others help them in the agriculture practices because the whole land cannot just one or two people or one small family cannot take care of the whole land so they have to be dependent on the other uh, farm laborers who help them to do the agricultural activities now the some statements related to large scale farmers are given here observe they purchase and use modern agricultural equipments okay huge equipments to harvest or plowing or um, seeding anything they use a huge agricultural equipments they store the grains in barns barns means go downs and sell it when they get a better price they will have a proper place to store their uh, harvest also they utilize the monetary facilities of the banks monetary facilities our uh, country gives lot of chances for the farmers to grow good crops okay their income is high as they grow different crops now they have lot of lands right so they grow different kinds of different different crops will be grown in in the whole, the whole acres of lands so and the, about the irrigation how do the area irrigate and wh how what are the different process of irrigations we will learn in the next class and we learn about organic farming also okay so stay at home stay safe take care of yourself i hope you're all doing well and taking care of yourself and your family children thank you very much and keep learning